guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be giving you a little mini tour of my filming setup. And this video is going to be specifically geared towards beginner beauty YouTubers or maybe even people who are just thinking about starting their own channel because I've been at this YouTube gig for a little over a year now. I definitely still consider myself a beginner, an amateur. By no means am I a professional at any of this YouTube stuff. And I think that's why people watch YouTube because we don't necessarily want to watch professionals or we be watching the professionals in some other way, shape or form. YouTube is a space where everyday people like myself and like you watching from home can broadcast themselves, can do what they have a passion for. And for me, that happens to be makeup and the fact that I get to sit here in front of my camera in my my own home and play with makeup and have you guys tune in every so often, it means the world to me. It just means that I'm able to share that passion, that love with everybody else who is as equally as passionate about makeup and beauty as I am. So I want to give you guys maybe some hope. I want to give you guys some insight and I want to give you guys some encouragement and just show you guys it's really not that hard to start your own YouTube channel and you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. Sure, you can get it. If you can afford to get it, great. I mean, by all means, it doesn't hurt. But start off small and then build into it. No matter what your budget is, you're gonna be able to start your YouTube channel if you really have a passion and drive for it. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna be filming the majority of this video using my cell phone and in case you're wondering the cell phone I do have is the iPhone 11 Pro. I don't have the Max. The Max is too big. The Max doesn't fit in my back pocket so I always stick to the regular size of iPhone and I do use my iPhone to film. I do, let's see, sometimes I'll do tutorials for my Instagram account um, using my iPhone, but more often than not, I'm using a Canon mirrorless camera. So I'm going to show you that as well, but um, I do more like swatch photos and selfies, of course, with my iPhone 11 Pro. But I'll take you through all that. I'm going to show you everything I use, the lights, everything. So if you guys want to see what you need or where to begin, if you're thinking or have your own beauty YouTube channel, if you're a beginner at it, or you're just wondering, what do I need to get started? Then definitely stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is my filming setup. I have three box lights, one on each side, and one that's kind of like overhead, you can see the ceiling fan up there. And then I have a ring light, which I'm gonna show you the ring light um, a little more in depth in a minute. I of course have my camera on there and I'll go into detail about what my camera is and um, the name of it, it'll be linked in the description box down below. I also have a monitor, I have a TV where I think my camera is on right now, let me see. So this TV right here is my um, viewfinder. So it should turn on, let's see. Sometimes it takes a minute. Or did I turn, oh, I think I turned my camera off. Let's see, let me turn my camera on. So when you turn on my camera, you're gonna see that the TV is gonna turn on. And this is an old TV. This was not a new TV, it's something I had in storage. So when I started my YouTube channel, I was, you know, looking around just to kind of see what I already had and what I could utilize. So ignore like the mess in the background, but um, yeah, this is basically what I use. I use four different lights. So you have the three box lights and then I have that one big ring light, which my camera sits on top of and I have um, my TV monitor. So I also use this mirror. Now the lights on it, aren't very powerful, but it is enough light for me where if I turn off all the lights, I can do my own makeup, not filming it. Um, and I keep it propped up on this little Dollar Tree container. 
just because I need it to be at a certain height whenever I am filming. Um, but yeah, and I have this little table, this little table I think I got like at Walmart, nothing fancy. And I have all my brushes. I do have a microphone right here, which this microphone is plugged into the camera. And um, I do make sure to bring it as close to me as I can whenever I am speaking. Um, so that way my voice is pretty clear. And of course you see all my brushes. I got my water there. And yeah, this is basically um, my filming setup. This is basically my desk. And what I see when I am looking right there at you guys. So now let me go into detail as to um, what certain things are and how much they are and where you can find them. All right, guys, so let me talk uh, about my camera. Let me show you this camera. So I bought this camera before I had even filmed my first YouTube video, but I bought it with the intent that and the hope <laughs> that I was going to enjoy filming YouTube videos. And it was a little bit of an investment. I want to say this camera cost me about it was between six and seven hundred dollars. I bought it last year. It was um, last June. Um, so June 2019, um, it might have come down in price already, which I'll have it linked if I can find it. I got it at Best Buy. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But I've heard a lot of great things about this camera. After purchasing it, I've seen other YouTubers recommend it. So um, I was really happy to see that. I was like, hey, that's my camera. And so I've been really happy with the quality of my videos. Um, this is the lens it came with. So it is a 15 um, by 45 millimeter. Meter. Um, I didn't invest in another lens, although I am considering getting um, a 50 millimeter lens just so I could zoom in a little bit more, but I'm um, not too sure yet. Even lenses, lenses can be pretty expensive. And so the one I'm looking at is about 200 bucks. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm still thinking about that. But um, this is the Canon M. I always forget the name of it. How sad. Um, this is the EOS M50. And this little screen right here, it does pull out. And this is one of the features that I wanted because I, at that time, I hadn't even thought about connecting my TV to it until I got it home and started playing around with it. And um, then I decided, you know what, I'm going to use this old TV that I had in storage. And that's going to be my monitor or my viewfinder instead of looking at this. But um, it's good to have this, especially if you don't have a TV that, that you can use as a viewfinder. This just pops out and then you can see yourself right here and you can make sure that you're in frame and that you're in focus. So that is one feature that I definitely wanted the camera that I purchased to have. And guys, I went into Best Buy and I still have <laughs> to this day, no knowledge of cameras. I am by far not an expert on them whatsoever. I just asked, um, you know, the salesperson if he could please direct me and show me a nice camera. I told him what I was going to do. This is the one he recommended. It is a mirrorless camera, which don't ask me and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that just means it takes the picture quicker. But um, I've been really happy with this, guys. Like, it's been a really decent little camera. I do keep it connected, so I never lose battery because it is um, connected to the outlet down here. I have a bunch of extension cords, but I bought this little adapter um, on Amazon, and I want to say it was like $15, $20 maybe, and so I never have to worry about changing the battery because it just stays plugged into the outlet the entire time. Um, right here is the port, the HDMI port where I connect the TV. I just, I moved this so that I could show you guys, but um, it connects right there. And then on the other side, I usually don't have the viewfinder popped out. Put it back. But right here is where I connect my microphone and that's it. I don't use this camera to take pictures. It never leaves this room. It's always here um, and I'm ready to film. Um, it takes the standard SD card. I have two SD cards. I have a 64 gig and a 128 gig that I alternate between, um, pick those up on Amazon as well. And it's always sitting here on my ring light, which I'm going to take you in depth into the ring light, um, into another one. 
that I got um, that I have in my office. I'll show you that a little bit better. I just don't want to move this one because it has a camera on it. But yeah, guys, this is what I use. Um, this is what I decided to purchase. You don't need to buy a fancy camera to start YouTube, but you can use your cell phone by all means. But um, if you have the budget, if you have the means to do it, and you are pretty confident that this is what you're going to want to do, then I think it's worth investing in an entry level camera. And that's exactly what I did. I've had this already for over a year. Um, use it quite often and it's been a really decent, reliable little camera and I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay, these are the box sites. I'm just going to show you the back of them real quick. It came in a set of three. These are, what are these called? They're called the Mountain Dog um, box lights. It was a set of three. I want to say like 75 bucks maybe. I don't think it was more than that. My backdrop, as you can see right there, um, I do have a stand. It's like a, a stand that has um, the leg on this side, the leg on that side, and the bar obviously going straight at the top. That's from Amazon as well. I want to say the backdrop stand was maybe like $25. Nothing very expensive. And then my backdrops, let me take you closer so I can show you because I do get have different backdrops and I get them all on Amazon. So those are the clips. It came with three clips and then I bought some extra ones. But um, this is my backdrop. It's kind of like a vinyl type of plastic type of paper. Um, you can iron it. I just iron it on the reverse side, but um, you can also steam it. My steamer gave out on me a couple months ago. So um, I always keep them hung up. I keep them just one behind each other so that they don't get wrinkled. And obviously like with this print, you can't really see any of the wrinkles or the creases. That's why I like it. But um, I have my other ones behind it. So there's like that galaxy one back there. There's my leaves. I think I just had that one on there not too long ago. And then I have another one. Oh, it's somewhere back there. I have like the marble one, but I keep them all back there and I just change them out every month or two and go from there. But these backdrops, guys, these backdrops, I don't think I've ever paid more than $30 for a backdrop and I get them all on Amazon. All right guys, so now we are in my office and this is where I'm working at or working out of at the moment um, because I am working from home. So I was sent this ring light recently by Incessi and this is an adjustable ring light. Um, this is a really, really nice ring light. And I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at this one because this is what I keep here in my office and this is something that I think if you're gonna be working from home and you're gonna be doing like your own Zoom meetings and Google Meets and whatnot, or even filming your YouTube videos, maybe you're gonna film your YouTube videos out of your office, you definitely need to have a good light source and ring lights are perfect for that. So this is what the light looks like. I don't wanna stand directly in front of it, but you kind of, you get the idea. And of course you can adjust the brightness on this light. So here's the little dial to increase the brightness. You can see it's very bright. And then of course you can decrease the brightness. So whatever it is that you feel like you need for your video, I always leave it on the maximum brightness, um, but you do what's best for you. This is where um, it plugs in. I have it plugged into the outlet. Now this one, you can insert some batteries in here, but that is a separate purchase. OK, um, but it will work off of batteries. So that's really great if you need to take it outside and you don't have access um, to an outlet. That is something that this ring light does provide. Now, it also comes with a stand. I have my cell phone stand on this one just because I don't bring my Canon camera over here. I leave that one in my beauty room. But I really like this because I can put my cell phone right here. I can put it going vertically or horizontally horizontally however it is um, I wish to film and of course this is adjustable this will um, be you can make this more narrow or wide um, whatever you need to and then of course you can remove this as well just by unscrewing it right there um, this is the on and off switch 
and you can also adjust this. So right here, if you turn these little knobs, you can actually make the light go flat. And let me go ahead and show you what that is going to look like. So all I did, it was this knob where I just had to unscrew it and then push the light down and you can see it can go down more, but this is just, you know, what I did just to show you guys. But if you're filming something, maybe on the tabletop or maybe you're gonna do some cooking um, YouTube videos or whatnot, you're gonna do your nails or whatever it is, just know that these ring lights, well, this one at least, is adjustable. And guys, I wanna let you all know that in Ceci, has offered all of my viewers and subscribers a 30% off discount on this amazing ring light. And this is the big ring light, guys. This is not the small one. And I have a small one and I'll show, that, show it to you to compare. But this is the same size as what I use in my studio. And this is pretty much the standard size you want to use if you're going to be doing like, um, you know, these beauty videos and whatnot. It's really going to provide you with um, a lot of light. So I will leave that discount code in the description box. But thank you so much, Incessi, for offering all of my viewers a 30% discount on this amazing ring light. Guys, one last thing on the ring light, it is adjustable as far as height goes. So these knobs right here, you just unscrew them and then start lifting up and you can adjust the height of the ring light. So lots of neat features on this one. Um, you can remove this part and then put your DSLR camera or mirrorless camera, whatever type of camera it is, you can um, put it on here as well. So just wanted to point out um, those other features and it also came with a nice carrying case for when you need to take this with you on the go. So guys, before I end this video, I just wanna give you my top five products. Um, top five things that I think you need to start a beauty channel. And first and foremost, you gotta have something to film on, whether you're using your cell phone, which I am using right now to film this portion of the video, or you're using a DSLR camera, a mirrorless camera, Whatever it is, guys, you do what is best for your budget. Don't feel the need to go out and buy an expensive camera. See how you're gonna like it first. Start on your phone and then you can grow from there. The next thing that I think that you should invest in is of course a ring light, a light source. Right now the room I'm sitting in, it has half of the wall, or not, I shouldn't say half of the wall, but half of the room is floor to ceiling uh, windows. And even then, I struggle with light. So I'm using a, a smaller ring light right now while I'm filming, filming this portion of the video. Um, but I definitely recommend investing in one of the ring lights that I showed you, in particular the Incensi one, because they are offering you guys a 30% discount. The light itself retails for $89.99 on Amazon, less the discount you do the math guys it's an incredible opportunity to get a light that you can grow with you can adjust you can take with you on the go as needed it's a really great light source the third thing i think you should get is some type of a backdrop and guys i've seen youtubers that they use sheets they use fabric as their backdrops and that is amazing like that's great um i found for me that those backdrops that i showed you those have just worked really well. And I like that they're that vinyl plastic um, material because I find that they release the wrinkles a little bit better. Now you can easily film with just a plain wall behind you the way I do here in my office, but it's up to you. I would just make sure that your backdrop is nice and neat and it's appealing because it is something that's always going to be in view on your videos. The fourth thing I would tell you guys to have is a comfortable filming setup. You need some type of a tabletop, whether it's a little coffee table or a little table like I had in my beauty room, you need some type of flat surface 
to lay your product on top of. You don't want to be fumbling and knocking things over and trying to look for things in the middle of filming your videos. That's just going to take a lot of editing time. Make sure that you have a comfortable place to sit or stand. I know some people like to stand and actually I wish I could stand when I do my videos. That's something I might be looking into in the future, but just have a comfortable place in your home, wherever it is you're going to be filming these videos to actually film. Because if you're uncomfortable, that's going to come through in your videos. And the last thing, my fifth piece of advice, tip on things that you need or stuff that you need to start a YouTube channel is patience and passion. You must have both of those things equally if you want to make your channel succeed. Things don't happen right away, guys. You don't get to that magical thousand subscriber number. And I say that because that's when you're able to monetize your channel and start making a little bit of money off of it. It doesn't happen overnight. It took me almost a year to get to a thousand subscribers and it took a lot of hard work. It took a lot of dedication, determination, but most of all, it took my personal passion for makeup and my passion for really wanting to make this work because I love makeup. I always have. And the fact that I can relay that message to you guys, I can share that passion with the world because it's not just people here in the US. I live here in the US. It's people all over the world who get to watch your videos. I think it's so amazing that we're able to just support each other and collaborate with each other. So those would be the two things that you need to have within yourself, that patience, because it is going to take time. Don't expect things to happen overnight. You definitely have to have a passion for what you love to do. Guys, I hope this little video was able to help you all kind of decide if starting a YouTube channel is something that you want to do. Um, whatever it is, guys, as long as you enjoy it and have fun, it really doesn't matter the type of things that you have. You do what you think works best for you. You do what you think is right by your channel. And I encourage everybody, if it's really something that you've been thinking about, just go for it. Try it out. See if you like it. Because if you don't like it, then you know what? At least you know. At least you tried it and you can close your channel and then come watch everybody else. So guys, if you have any comments, any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, again, I'm still a beginner. I totally think of myself as a beginner, as an amateur. By no way am I a YouTube expert, but I'm here to help you guys. So if you have any questions about anything that um, I used or I showed you guys, leave it in the comment section because I love to hear from you guys. I love talking to you guys. And if I can help you guys out in any way, I'm going to. So guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.